Learn you have a very important call from a very important man being considered for knighthood. You may take the call of the Lennons to damn the hotline. Why, thanks, Queenie. Hello, you are talking to the one and only Len Amsterdam from Canada. Uh, g'day, Len. How are you? It's David Pendragon here from Australia. Um, I'm here to do an interview for the Len Amsterdam radio show. This call isn't on my nickel, is it? Well, actually, uh, yes. Can I call you back, Collect? Hmm. Look, I'm very busy, and, uh, you know, I'm sort of known as a world-class musician, so I'd have to say no to that. And by the way, um, where's the limo, uh, you promised? Yeah, man, I'm sorry about that, but uh, it's, it's just not in the budget. Now, I'd like to start the uh, interview off by saying uh, you got a real interesting look. Mystical holy man or, or hippie, uh, I'm not sure which, but it really works for you. Well, actually, uh, holy hippie, I guess, is the way to put it, mate. Um, yeah, I was uh, hanging around the hippie scene in the 70s uh, all over Australia. In fact, uh, was one of the people that started a big hop, uh, hippie commune here called Nimbin, which uh, sort of you guys over there might have heard about. But uh, mystical holy man, yeah, well, my shirt's holy and my shoes are holy, so I guess that makes me holy. David, what was your uh, first instrument? First instrument, uh, of all things, was the bagpipes. Um, I tried desperately to get into the brass band in the school I was in, and uh, my singing teacher, or my music teacher at the time, uh, said to me, David, I really don't think it's something that uh, you should be doing. You're never going to be a musician anyway, so uh, perhaps you should just let that slide. And um, I got a bit angry about that, went off to the art teacher who was a bagpipe player, and he was putting together a bagpipe band for the school, so I joined up and became the bagpipe player. And um, that led me later into... Uh, actually joining the uh, Scottish Army. I, I was born in England, joining the Scottish Army as a piper um, where I lasted some six months and then we decided to part company for various reasons. But uh, then the next instrument was really guitar, but my, my main instrument is my voice. Uh, can you talk about um, your musical influences? Musical influences for me are pretty varied, um, I guess... I started off with uh, a lot of the contemporary folk artists, the Donovans and the Dillons, uh, Cat Stevens. I progressed um, into Jethro Tull, uh, a lot of the major bands of that period of time, Pink Floyd, um, Jethro Tull, Pink Floyd, uh, Steel Eye Span, Fairport Convention, a lot of the folkies. Uh, very, very wide range of things that I've listened to and, and loved uh, right from the very beginning. Um, I've, I've spent quite a bit of time in different sorts of bands doing uh, lots of different covers, you know, like even Led Zeppelin and bands like that. So, you know, I'm pretty well influenced by many, many people. My current influence is a strong um, Peter Gabriels, uh, pe people like that. I find I like music where the vocalist is really present. What are your thoughts on the World Wide Web? Look, the World Wide Web for me is something that has come to me very late in life. I'm 53 years old and uh, I basically really uh, only connected with the, the internet a very, very short period of time ago. Um, literally... Uh, Five years ago, I hadn't even ever turned a computer on, and my experience for four years was just uh, recording on Cubase on a, a Macintosh, and that's the only thing I knew about computers. I just knew that one program and got to know that pretty well. But, uh, yeah, I discovered the Internet um, during the Christmas holidays of last year and joined up uh, with SoundClick and, you know, I put some music up there for people to have a listen to, and all of a sudden discovered that there was a world of music that I had no idea existed. Um, music from real people and music that was produced and then put on the internet immediately. It's a very immediate sort of process where somebody had the ability to record something 
um, this minute and, and, you know, 15, 20 minutes later that piece of music is out there in the world and people are actually responding to it. So I think for me that was the the very first thing that I just found absolutely incredible as a musician that had spent most of my life waiting for anything up to three to six months to even get any kind of response from a record company.